everyone welcome to 705r studio live on instagram today is the 27th of april 2022 and i was so happy to have you join us today and maybe tangle along with us for the next hour hour and a half my name is jennifer czt21 i'll be your host for this session and uh my co-host Susan Yo CZT Asia 2 and Debbie New CZT 18 should be joining us just shortly. And while we set up, um, if you'd like to tangle along with us, feel free to get some materials ready. Whatever it is that you want to use, you can use any tiles, any colors, any kinds of pens. And we'll spend the next hour maybe hour and a half tangling together. Yeah. And we also like to thank you if you're watching a recording of this session or even if you're watching, especially if you're watching this live, we always enjoy your presence in one of our sessions, in these Instagram live sessions. Yeah, and if you can't stick around for long, a recording of uh, this video will be made available on Instagram at 745 Rivers and also on our YouTube channel youtube.com slash c slash 705 Rivers Studio. Hi Debbie. Hi. I think Susan is having a little bit of issues joining us. Let's hope. I thought Let's I saw her. Yes. I've been trying to accept her join request. It's <laughs> not going through. Because of Wednesday, typical Wednesday for you. Yes. Ah, here we go. Hello. Hi, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Susan, I came in, then kick me out. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, I told me Susan is unable to jump. Oh dear. Maybe it was Stephanie who kicked you out. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> so if you'd like to follow all of our shenanigans, you can find the be new. Ooh, at tango.pursuits and Susan Yeo at Susan CZT and you can find me at halfpen underscore world pro. It is What do you say? What, why do you suddenly say uh Debbie New and then Woo? Because it's thunderstorming. I was gonna say oh. I don't know whether you guys can hear it. Oh I didn't it hear is... it. I heard your woo and I'm like <laughs> you added to my name. Woo. No, I'm not a woo, I'm a new <laughs> <laughs> rename her no no it's not that yeah so it's it's going to downpour here in, in my area so uh, Debbie and Susan are uh, streaming from their homes I'm streaming from probably will downpour here well. yeah Singapore is very small so it, it, it's looking a little dark in the, if the, that messes with the module I apologize in advance but yeah thank you so much for joining us like I said if you like to tangle along with us please take out some Tangling supplies, and then we can tangle along together. So speaking of supplies, Debbie, what, what supplies are you t working with today? I'm going to wait for the both of you uh, to show your <laughs> yeah, supplies, and okay. then your tiles, and then I'll decide. Because I have, I have a, like a chunk of tiles here that I can use, or I can use my sketchbooks. <laughs> Susan, I wonder what okay. tile you're using. <laughs> Yeah, Debbie yeah, has a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Debbie has a lot of uh, resources, mm, yes. <laughs> so she can any time well, just tweet it. <laughs> you must make use of what you have, right? Yeah, thank you yeah. for let us <laughs> showing our <laughs> materials. Yeah. Okay, so I'm using already, the. Right? Yeah. You can buy new ones. Mm. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> very bad influence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, I stand by my five tiles, white mm -hmm. and ten tiles. Yeah, then with the brown micron, black micron, white jerry roll. Yeah, just the, the yeah, simple I one. Say. Yeah, I was going to say, are you going to uh, do both? Yeah. I, I, I'm a little bit oh, ambitious man, today. Mm, wow. I, I try to learn from Debbie <laughs> New. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Okay. okay, but no okay. guarantee, so I will, I will see. Could I can <laughs> no guarantee? Maybe halfway she don't want. Okay, oh, I'm yeah. using a round towel. This is not an okay. official towel. It's one of uh, our own ones. It's tinted with uh, Lindy's Gang Magicals. I believe this is Ramblin Rose Pink. Yeah. So yeah, basic tangling supplies. I haven't decided what I'm going to shade 
used to shape today's towers. So we'll see how that goes. So, so, so Susan, yours is uh, the white one is going to be black and white, is it? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll add other colors. Then your I stand by my color pencil also. Oh, so Can... your pen one is going to be what? Also black. I have no idea yet. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, then I'm going to have to choose also. <laughs> leh. I'm playing. Yeah. Huh? Okay, then I, I make it I, I, I make it brown, black, white. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I will just choose something else then. Uh, mm. Mm. So, well, so, well, well, Debbie figures out what she's going to use. Susan, do you want to share today's string? Yeah, she okay. must. Of course, she was the one who came out with me. She must. Yeah, uh, Susan. Yeah, I must. That. Yeah, I must. Yes. Yeah, I must. Okay. Let's say we have a, a series of three dots, three mm -hmm. circles. Now mm -hmm. we go to two. <laughs> okay. Why is that? Today is a. Why are you minus? Huh? <laughs> what for? Uh, <laughs> That's for next week. <laughs> okay. If let's say you want to become four, also can. Okay. Ah, today is 2C oh, or 4C. Huh? Yo! Hey, oh, so what? <laughs> It's me getting mad at her for texting me in the middle of the night when I go to school. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> so is is this a lesson not to no, text really a person a after eleven? <laughs> <laughs> no lah. Actually, she she texted around nine plus. But by the time I saw it, I was going to bed already. Is it nine plus? I can't remember. I so. Okay. Anyway. So. Yeah. Okay. Two C's. You can. Interpret it as two semicircles, and you can either put it aside at the left and right, top and bottom, or you if let's say you want to instead of reducing three to two, you can increase it three to four, so it become like this one. Yeah, so it's up to you, or even maybe the C is something like the intersect in between, so there's a overlapping here. Yeah. And you can uh, try to use your imagination whether how you want to make this 2C. This one also 2C. It's just like 1C. Okay. Seth, do you have any idea of this 2C? Mm, the one that I thought about was the overlapping one. Then, then we, oh, mm, I have one thought of top. one idea also, actually. Mm. But because uh, you're supposed to... Show us, ma. So I keep quiet. Also, oh, you let me show first, ah. Oh. Yeah, I let you show first. Later, then I show. Okay. Then maybe, the other one. <laughs> maybe. Oh, sorry, yeah, maybe one. Yeah. Last time I used to remember, I used to teach corporate classes, right? Then because the mosaic, we wanted to link, right? So my mom mm. and I, the string that we use would be a quarter circle. Then we will make one ah, slightly yeah. bigger than the other. Do you remember oh. that one year that we swapped uh, amongst the series? Ah, yes, yes. Yes, yeah, yes, I think you were involved as well. Yeah. Yeah. So it's quite nice because yeah. then you have like a larger circle and then you get a smaller circle as well. If you have four tiles. And then you yeah. can do rotating I, I, windows. I remember, dun, dun, dun. Mm. I remember, remember I used that string also. Oh. No, no. Oh. I remember I, I myself also used this, but I my myself is I with like aura. <laughs> I remember. So we have a same we, we have a same mind. That's why I yes, use yes. the border. Your then we can after the mosaic is something like the 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 chest, the snack and leather. Snake the, and leather, yes. The one that ah uh, the one we play. Yeah, it's quite fun. <laughs> so this is the four C yeah. Four C. Yeah. Okay, so what know. else of two C? Mm. Okay, I think ah uh, okay. The other two C is that they're facing each other, then become a circle. This is mm. like play cheat, uh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That one. yeah. Then I use a, a Zendala. Yeah, this is a 2C. <laughs> okay, Debbie, so. Yeah. What is your. Yeah. Mm, like I think I will do idea. something like that. So I have like that and then like that. Oh, like rainbow. Oh, yeah. Or, or I mean, you can you can do it uh, this way also, la, you know. And then, I was thinking that maybe I will create two tiles also, like Susan Yo. <laughs> yeah, so, so for example, right, if you have two tiles side by side, you can have one C here and one C here. 
どやのもねうんうん and then and then I was thinking of the the idea where do you know、uh, there was this class by K Yoshino in CVTAE 2020 Her string or something like that. Yeah. Her string or something like that. Yeah. So, string ideas. This mm, one is like a variation of the one that Steph has on her sheet.、Mm. Yeah. So, I have a black towel and a white towel. And then I have a colored towel. It's a bright orange towel by Stephanie Jennifer, I think.、Thank、She、you. didn't label it, so I think it's hers. Thank you. Yeah, so I have like a black and white towel. I don't know how well you can see the black though. Black on black. Never mind, I will try my house. Yeah, so in all, I have three towels. If I get bored or something, I will switch out. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you can see the l i s t r i n g So bad. I think the thing. This string made of two seeds. These are just suggestions. You can, of course, create your own string idea. And we're using the Tango Peka by Asuka Odagami CZT. This is a very floral tango. Lots of fun possibilities with it. Let's draw it together. Let me switch over to a ballpoint pen. Yeah, so it starts off as a five point、uh, tiny flower petals.、Okay? You can draw along with me on a scrap piece of paper.、Um, like usual, I won't be turning my sketchbook too much so that you can see what I'm doing. But as you're drawing this, I found it easier to turn my paper, my tile, my sketchbook as I was drawing it. Yeah? Feel free to do that on your own. After that, from the top points of each of the petals, we're going to connect. The adjacent petals to each other. So, how tall or short your petals are is completely up to you. A little off the mark here. Oops. That's why it's important to turn your tile a lot easier. After this, you're going to imagine that this line, so if you're following it with your eyes, it extends out a little more and then it connects down to this V point. And then you're going to do the same for the other side. So this line extends out and then connects you know, down、uh, to this point. Yep. You know,、uh, actually, I, know. I was struck by how similar it is to Biao Wai. It's like Biao Wai. It's like the sister. Someone, someone never, never s e e the step outs properly. Then,、uh, yeah. And then my, it's okay. It's not bad. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you can see my string. Very、eh? light.、Uh. Give me, I try again.、Eh? Hmm. So, when you finish, you should have this sort of like double image kind of idea. That's, that's how I see it. And then you can, of course, embellish it. So, Asuka tells us to add little petals to this part. And then also add a little, little lines to the inside of the larger petals.、So、you don't see the similarity with that one, eh? No, I feel like it's like a.、Hmm, it's like a what, taller version of it. Reverse version. <laughs> it's like the one oh, that. Oh, because. I, oh, okay, okay, I see your point. I see your point. It's from this point. Ah.、Uh, You see, my point is from this point. Yeah, yeah, because I was、and、looking here. And then you here. say I'm lame. It's、no、not, not what I meant. <laughs> yeah, I get it, I get it. Here, <laughs> here, and then here. Why is that? Can, can. Can. So, that Y, that Y looks like,、um, like this. That Y. Yeah, and of course,、um, all of our weekly tangles that we feature in these 7FIVR live sessions,、uh, they're from the 7FIVR challenge group on Facebook. We post these、uh, weekly featured tangles in this group every Tuesday. 
So you can visit uh, this link, bit.ly slash fb705r or search for 705r challenge directly in the Facebook search bar. Yeah? You do need to answer, I think it's three security questions just so that we know that you're not a, a bot. But uh, otherwise, you can just view the group, you're part of the group, maybe post your own tiles and uh, like and comment on other people's beautiful artworks and get inspiration from them. Yeah. Steph? Yes. Can I see the step out? Sure. Yeah, the step out. I'm going to draw my tile. Is it a standard five petals? Or you can actually um, in her example, her step are very simple. So in her, her uh, step outs, it is a standard five petals, but I'm quite sure you could, of course, add more petals if you wanted to. Yeah, but the I, think, is just... I think it only works if there are odd numbers, right? Mm -mm. Well, even, even also it could work, I think. How? Oh. Because you, yeah. are, you are joining off of... Uh, Hmm. So let me try the even number. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I think it should be no problem because the the no their step is uh, start from the inner petal, so it's yeah. up to you to decide. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Because there are some hmm. that uh, you need either or hmm. even uh, we bought, and then uh, so it's much depend on their their steps. The mm, sequence. Yeah. No, it's fine. Even with even numbers. You try already? Hmm. I'm trying. Oh, me okay. too. Nah, I'll just be, I'll just be boring and stick to five because I don't want to think so much. <laughs> but you make us think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good <Good-bye. laughs> oh, no. life. Must, must move the brain. Yeah. So. Yeah, Move a bit. Someone in Exercise. the comment section. <laughs> Someone in the comment section said, "Hello from Greece. Hello, thank you for joining us." It's always amazing how internet connects us. Yeah. So if you're so, so I have. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Two C's. I was going to say that. I've <laughs> the set tangle up pickup. my my string. Wow. Uh, on both halves. <laughs> so I this have a one's white mega complex. And a black towel. Why? And then... It's got uh, extra, so, extra. Because I don't have my charcoal pencil with me. It's probably at studio, I think. So I actually drew my string yeah. with uh, gel, gel ink. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, which I hope will still disappear later. And then uh, this one is the white towel, which I'll work on in a bit. Yeah. In a bit? Is your new tangle name? In a bit. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Actually, actually, lunar beat was uh, something that I thought about you know, for one of the tangles. Huh. But then now, Luna is also your cat. Leh. How? Ah? Yeah. <laughs> name it after my cat. No, I I dedicate to it. Uh, that's what the name after her. Mm. As a Jian Mian Li. Oh, yes. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> so must we prepare before meeting her? <laughs> okay. she's, she's very naughty. Huh? I, ha I, I had this. Yet. No, no, no. Now, now she like a you rebellious. She's playful or naughty? Child. Yeah, yeah. Playful, playful. But also, I think naughty. Yeah. No, no. This one is really naughty. This one is, there was this uh, sheep, sheep skin rug on my chair. Right, so it's furry, right? Then, then Luna would sit on the, the chair, then she would like bite onto the fur of the rug and then pull it out. And then my husband scolded her. He's like, stop it. Then I came home yesterday, then I saw her sitting there, and then she quiet, quiet, and I pet pet her for a while. Then she leaned down to, to bite onto the rug and then pull it out. Then I said, hey, stop it, don't do that. Later you eat the fur and then, and then you, 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 you get indigestion or you fall sick. Then I was like leaving the room. Then after that, she, I was looking, at, looking back at her and then she made eye contact with me and then she leaned down, 
to bite the rug again and pull it out. And I said, hey, hey, spit it out. <laughs> then I, I took it from, took the fur from her. And I said, why you do that? I told you not to do that. And then she oh, faced, oh. Uh-huh. she faced the back of the chair and then she pressed her face into the back of the chair because she don't want to look at me. So she purposely So went. I am going to dedicate a tangle to a naughty cat. Yes. Why? <laughs> It's, it's like a okay, never mind. It's like a naughty child, you know. Then you dedicate lah. Why me? Lilis, Lilis also do naughty things also. Eh? Yeah, but she Lilis already has a tangle. Hand. Fair enough. Lilis has a tangle. I don't know how to draw. Okay, I think. Hmm. I think my ink needs to dry before I smudge it. <laughs> so I'm putting it aside. Because, <laughs> uh, you know what? Very clumsy, right? <laughs> okay, today, right, we have actually got seven questions. But I no, have so consolidated so many. them into five. Okay. Yeah. So, right, I'm going to start with the very easiest question. So, y'all don't get to choose. I just give y'all no. the easiest one first. And okay. then uh, we will slowly make our way to the more difficult ones. Okay. But more before like we start, right? Okay, so the, the more difficult one, I will tell you all that uh, you can actually come up with something funny. La. It doesn't have to be so serious. It's meant to be a funny thing, you know? Okay? Okay. Mm. okay. Yeah. Okay, so mm. the first easy question is, what personal project are you currently working on? Personal project? Oh, I have answer for this. Um, I give you all five minutes. You can go and run and take whatever you want to take. <laughs> oh, take one. Okay. Yeah. With me, yeah. Um... Steph has a lot. Of course, she's in yeah. studio, right? Yeah. I, so I was going to say, pick up me. I was going to say in October. So I'm slowly creating That's example times. That's not a tasks. personal project. Well, kind of. Okay, okay, okay. Personal project, personal project. What personal projects do I have currently? Can uh, um, if you if you deem it as a personal one, then go ahead, lor. It's just that you are ready to show it, man. You're not right. No, of course. Are not. you? I, uh, I, I did. Um, <laughs> this is you don't Daniel's. You exactly show the stuff that you're not supposed to show, okay? <laughs> no, I no, it's not catch up. Undo, undo, <laughs> blur it out <laughs> later. <laughs> Use use this the is... video editing software to crop yeah, out yeah. the the part. People, people censor <laughs> backwards. We censor things that not supposed to be you know. This is Daniel the Palma Mambatas um Tuesday Tango. What do you actually like that? Yo. I don't know. When I like say it, then it just comes okay. Daniel, I'm sorry for butchering your name. <laughs> Let's just stick it stick with Daniel. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, I did I did her her recent. Class. Actually, she just sent out um, the recording of her latest class. So this is not the most recent. But I haven't, I haven't watched it. Yeah, I also haven't watched the Susan latest Susan never one. do work. Oh. Huh? <laughs> I do, work. do I work? People give you a gift. I haven't yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, not yet. Oh. Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> so naughty. Yeah, yeah. so she, she, she did uh, her, her towel look like the, the string was a triangle. And then she did each tangle in a different section. And then the middle uh, tangle was sort of behind the other three tangles. Then I thought like, oh, maybe I can use the string in a different way. So I uh, adapted her class idea. And then at the end, I decided to do a little gold border to tie the, the entire town together. Because there are some gold accents. Oh, she mm. used inner flour again. I didn't know that. Mm. And inner flux. I think this is the towel that you did. Yeah, I'm just catching. Is it? Up. Yeah, yeah. It's a triangle. How come yours looks so different? Never follow instructions. Yeah, that's why I said adapted <laughs> the class line, <laughs> which is true. I didn't. I didn't follow instructions. Yeah, it's like very completely just... different from what it was meant to be. Let me see yes, where I have it here. Do I have it here? Oh. Okay, let me see. Ah, where do I have it here? Mm. No, I don't have it here. I think I probably kept it anyway. Yeah. So, are you done, Steph? Yeah, I am done. It, you oh, know, wait, before before no, I don't know. you go on, before you go on, <laughs> Susan, actually, you look like Zeng. Huh? Hmm? Susan actually this, looks this like part, Yeah. No, I'm saying, 
I'm saying the Pekka. Pekka looks a bit like Zack. It has the element, oh. right? Mm. No. Yeah, the mirroring. Technically, you can change it. Okay, yeah, go on. Who's who's next? <laughs> Susan, you actually look like Zack. I hope so. You are. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Should be he look like me, right? <laughs> yeah, I thought you. I'm. Yeah, I'm the original. Conversation is so strange. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Who's next? Yeah. What are we saying? Is it Susan? Uh, personal projects. Yeah. Susan, oh, do you want to next? Susan? I still a, a lot of project that. Okay. Cannot some see. cannot show mm. one. Hmm. Mm. Because you haven't done yet. <laughs> still in my mind. <laughs> 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 ah, hey, like that, you not, hey, the question is what. Current, okay, what okay, okay. let me finish. Currently working on what, what personal project you have in your mind? Currently hey, working in my mind. Not to show anything. We need to pass away. I also have a lot inside my mind. That's why I don't want to see. Okay, <laughs> something that <laughs> I did yesterday. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, this is the one because <laughs> I oh, remember nice. that I saw Steph uh do. Is it in the magical yes. class or yes, magical ah, scene? Okay, so I I use my um the koi watercolor. There's mm. a with some metallic color effect to do this. Then heaven tangle. Then the other one is I think I finished it last week. This is the from the ah oh, Zentangle Beyond language from the CA the class. Okay, so I did some tasks. Oh, you did six. Then what else? It's so hardworking. Not yet, five, five only. Oh, so oh, I did five. Yeah. It, it is the first time that I draw so many uh, cheesy tasks. So many because things. there's time, a lot of uh, CZT, they will teach like drawing six so that we can form the mosaic. Mm. But I always uh, lazy. I just draw yeah, one mm. or maximum three. Mm. Yeah, then I use the, the handphone okay. to do the mosaic. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The time, the time. But uh, Steph and I also we we pontang eh. We she do three and three. Class. Then we yeah. together and they come. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, but this is the first time that I'm so hardworking. Yeah, hardworking. to do. I'm not sure, but maybe because I'm I'm working on my thesis last week, so I use this as a distress, uh, a a way for me to to <laughs> run away from release. responsibilities. Yeah, run away. Yeah, yeah. That's why. Mm. Then to work. project current mm. we working on. Mm. Yeah, the mm. other things cannot show. Mm. <laughs> and still things in my mind. Mm. Okay, next. Still Debbie. things in your mind. Yes, I hope there's things in your mind. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> I open my mind and let you and see. see? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to look at this line inside. We <laughs> oh, <yeah>. are. <laughs> Ah, okay, I have I have a lot of things on my table actually outside the the area that you are seeing here lah. So I just gradually bring things over, okay? And then I'm afraid to topple the whole thing. So as usual lah. Um, so I have the tangled musings. Uh, little. Let me try and zoom. Oh, I cannot zoom out. I can only bring the camera away. So I have like the tangled musings. Uh, book. With me. And I started it last year, uh, during October, uh, and I have gotten a few pages somewhat done, although not quite following the um, typical instructions. Uh, I think I still ah uh, this page was by uh, was my October piece, which I still have not completed. Um, actually, I'm still thinking on how to do it. That's why I've not completed because I want I want this part to look like uh, you know like the cathedral glass. Yeah, so the mm-hmm. there's a lot of thought process, and then it tires me out just looking at this page. So I still haven't finished. Okay, and then I've been working recently on this page. So just holding up so you can see. Yeah, so I did a how I think it was a Valentine's Day live show that we did where the string was a heart and a cross. So I've actually adapted it to fit into the sketchbook. Uh, I think this is like almost the last page. Yeah, so almost the last page. So I've been working steadily on this one, and then I pause because I don't know what to do on this side. Right. So this is my 
Tangled Music Sketchbook. As you can see, I got a lot of things on my table. Can you see? Yeah, a lot of junk. So I have like my supplies. I have I think I posted about this recently, which is my quad fly piece for FYC. So this one uh, is like if I'm bored or I can think of nothing better to do, right? This is the piece that I come to. Because for me, right, fragments are very easy, they're very bite sized. So gradually finishing uh the thirty one days, but I also have like spare fragments that I put at the end of the handout so I will probably include those as well so that's the fragments one and then I'm working on Oz Tangles as well so my friend Yvette Campbell who is also a CCT Yvette lives in Australia and she runs a yearly challenge called Oz Tangles that celebrates uh, tangles created by Australians not necessarily CCTs so I think I am stuck at this Six, maybe I haven't finished so she releases one prom a day and to be very honest sometimes I miss it so I'm late but I think when it all comes together I might or might not be late lah, depending because uh, this is just a well smaller probably a A5 sheet so it's not that large Um, and I may not be able to fit everything in so if I can't fit everything in I'll probably have to find another piece to continue yeah so these are my personal uh, projects uh, that are currently being worked on. Yeah. So let me just put them out of the way again. Actually, we both, we all have similar ideas when it comes to this tangle. Uh. Draw <laughs> <Job> rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it? I think they can got opportunity to fit things inside and around it. Otherwise, you draw too small. I think it's yeah. because of the, the, the design of the tangle itself. It mm. make you to draw it big. Or maybe it's No that... matter how... Yeah, maybe no it's... matter how small is your petal inside, it'll become very big. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's like when you draw the initial petal, you're like, oh, it'll be this size. Then when you expand out, you're like, oh, though, it's much bigger. Mm. So, easy question, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Susan, okay. even better. Take out the so I... brain uh-huh. idea. Take out the brain. Uh. Oh, yeah, <laughs> take out the brain idea to show you. Better than zombies kind of thing. Fresh brains. Mm. E. <laughs> e. Okay, so that was question one. There's two, three, yeah. four, and five. Mm. Anybody want to choose? <laughs> I thought you said no choose. No, yeah. I said the first question. Don't choose. Oh. Yeah. I don't want to choose. Susan, you want to choose? Three. Three. Eh? Okay, mm. three is not that difficult la. It's not that difficult also. I think I think y'all can answer quite easily. Okay, what is the best thing that has happened to you this year? This year, ho. Huh? Don't 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 tell me about last year. Last year we talked about it already. Best unless thing. unless you really have nothing good that happened this year. Then you talk about last year. I know, right? No, lah, but you see, it gets us thinking about, you know, our current, present moment, right? Grounds mm. us. Mm. Wow, so quiet. Eh? Thinking, <laughs> okay, hold on. How, how about I go first then? Because I have can, can. I just thought about Okay, it. go first. Before I forget, because now I'm very forgetful. So, I think since I have the answer, I should just go for it. Okay, so I think this year, right, a lot of bad stuff happened to me this year. Uh, but there are a few good stuff that happened to me this year. Number one, I became a whole food plant-based vegan. 
So I am the last person I would have thought that would become vegan because I I mean I I never kind of like plan this and then I do like my meat. In particularly I love cheese and I think some of you who have been listening to us uh, over the weeks uh, know that I love cheese, right? Very hard to give it up. So for me becoming vegan means losing cheese in my life, losing eggs as well. Uh, I've managed to cut out most uh, dairy, but I couldn't cut out one of the supplements that I take every day because um, I haven't found a vegan version of it yet. And I did try to take it out of my life, but uh, I had a bad reaction after I tried to cut it out. So I, for now, I've got no choice except to stay on it. Mm. So that is the only dairy that I take now, which is a goat's milk uh, supplement. Uh, organic though and from New Zealand so it's actually very healthy it's just that it's, it's not uh, it's still dairy um, and then and then um, in terms of like cheese I managed to find vegan cheese so for now I'm quite happy like. yeah <laughs> I, 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 I was telling Steph it's like huh, the cheese is, is vegan then it's not cheese really la. sorry it's a Thai it's a veggie Just, just like, just like how, uh, Steph and my husband surprised me with a vegan cake. Right, I'm, I'm like, it's not a cake. That's a vegetable. <laughs> salad. It's a salad. <laughs> it's a salad. Salad cake. <laughs> yeah. So this kind of humor, I'm sorry, it offends you. Uh, yeah. I, I don't need to hear about it. I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it wasn't easy for me to convert to veganism, lah. And and my parents still don't know what I'm doing. So. I mean, I've told them what it is about, uh, but they still don't understand what I can and cannot eat, you know? So I think it's a concept that a lot of people struggle with in Singapore because Singapore is very big on eating. Uh, and when I mean that, I don't mean eating healthy. So in the Singapore context, right, uh, a lot of people actually frown on going vegan or vegetarian because they think that it's not a balanced diet. Uh, but there are actually ways uh, you can eat that uh, you are supposed to eat enough uh, nutrients basically, right? So if you take care of the nutrients, uh, basically it's enough. Lah. But a lot of people uh, find that it's a hassle, you see, right? So I, I get it. And then also once upon a time, I never thought that I would become vegan myself. But that has been one of the best things that happened to me this year. Uh, in a year of dramatic changes and challenges so that was one of the best things because uh right now uh my energy levels are almost back to normal almost back to pre-covid vaccines uh two and three which is very promising for me because uh shortly after my second vaccine uh i'm not anti-vaccine i do think that the vaccines have enabled us to reach a point where the industry can open up again like society can open up again, society can function again. So I, I am not uh, in any way anti-vaccine, but my body is anti-vaccine, apparently. <laughs> so this is like what you think in your brain, right? Actually, actually your brain also reacts to your body's... Uh, I think my brain overreacted because my nerves are giving me problems. So, you know, when nerve pain happens, it's more like... Uh, the nervous system is triggering something uh, that signals your brain, right? So it's not, um, it's not something that's physiological. Does that make sense? So I think, I think for my body, uh, becoming vegan uh, was the only option uh, uh, as to how to live life more normally. Because I used to be very busy. I think Steph will know what I mean. I used to be very busy. I used to... Uh, Zentangle used to be my side hustle um, not my main hustle although temporarily it's being my main hustle for about two years plus now uh, originally I was working as well so I used to have a lot more energy than uh, before before my second vaccine so becoming vegan has given me back a lot of energy 
and and I never thought that I would regain it so quickly as well. So I've been vegan about nine weeks. I know it's not for everybody, and I won't try and convince uh anyone to become vegan. I think it's like a religion. Basically, you decide for yourself, right? What you believe in, or what works for you. Um. So for me, that was one of the best things. Uh, and and I guess another thing that happened to me that was good was the fact that I finally turned forty. So I feel like I always don't look my age. So when I was a child, I look older than my age, and then as an adult, I look younger than my age. It's not a problem per se, but it's just that sometimes people don't take me seriously, lah. Mm. So I, for example, just now I had someone drop by, uh, to sell me Yakut, you know the yogurt drink. And then I'm like, uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm in a meeting, I, and I don't drink Yakult. And then she looked at me like, you know, you are too young to say no to me like that, you know, like, we are your parents, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So it's good and bad. Like. So yeah, I finally feel like I'm comfortable with my age. I feel like my mental uh, age hasn't really turned 40 yet, but at least my mindset and everything has improved. And I think this is a milestone year for me because um, it has marked a lot of changes in my life. Uh, as you know, I also moved house. So a lot of changes this year, uh, a lot of positive changes uh, and also a lot of challenges. But I'm actually uh, refusing to look at them as challenges. Mm. What about the both of you? I see you all have drawn a lot of everything mm-hmm. while I was talking. Mm-hmm. Okay. The best thing, <laughs> I think, is the... Uh, it just happened last week? Or... Uh, yeah, last week. Mm. This one I haven't shared with uh, Debbie and Steph yet. Wow. Uh, because... Yeah. <laughs> because that haven't confirmed, uh, so so didn't share. Uh. Pregnant? Okay. Actually, it's... No, no la. <laughs> Please. <laughs> no. Huh? Where's the ball? <laughs> Where's the ball? This is not the, the question, okay? Okay, it's actually um uh because uh, many of you know that I'm from from Malaysia, okay, and I uh always uh very close contact with the Sakura supplier in Malaysia. Okay. Uh, recently, they they invite me to be their uh one of their brand artists this year. Mm-hmm. I think it lasts for two years. Yeah. So uh for these two years, I was able to try all their products and uh share all the uh art pieces that I draw in the social media. Yeah. So it's it's something that is uh to me is a very good opportunity. It's very really, uh yeah. Then can can work together with. With the sakura is quite good in Malaysia. Yeah. Congratulations. So, so yeah. they, 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 sorry, I mean, I'm trying to understand. So it's a two-year thing, you would say? Yeah, it's a two-year uh, partnership, so-called partnership. So they will, uh, every, yeah, every I four think. months, they will let me try, try something. Then they, the day they ask me, mm, okay, so for the first time, what? Product you want to try? Then I look at the list. I have most of the product already. <laughs> <laughs> so some is I, I I bought it myself. Some is they they actually they already gave me some product last time, maybe in one or two years ago. Yeah. So so although there's still uh maybe forty percent of their product that I I never tried because before because I didn't use it for Zentangle. but mm. now it's time for me to like explore those product in uh, whether can. Can fit into Zentangle so Arts you can, and even you can use the products here in the show as well and pro- cross promote for them, uh. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. So it's a very good thing, uh. Win-win situation. Yeah, I promote for them, then they promote for me also. Very uh, supportive of artists. Yeah, yeah, they're very supportive. Yeah. Mm. Steph is. <laughs> Steph, Steph is, is trying to. Judgment. Move to <laughs> Malaysia. <What? laughs> then the Wi-Fi have to sit in the car, don't want lah. 
I really don't think so, no. Yeah, I really don't think yeah. so. I know the Wi-Fi is just bad at my home. Not oh. whole Malaysia, okay? Okay. Later, right. all Malaysian yeah. come come after you. <laughs> Find me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Steph, Steph has a very uh, she hasn't been to Malaysia enough uh, to know. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I think I think out of Steph and between Steph and I, right? I think I'm the one who is more likely to move to Malaysia or anywhere else for that matter, <laughs> because she mm. declares <laughs> that Singapore is the best place on earth. You know. No, I never say best place on earth. I yes, it's okay lah. It, it, it's it's good to have that mind. <laughs> you you like yeah, why, where you stand now. Likes, yeah, so she likes Singapore more than I like Singapore. Then I'm the Singaporean in this chat. So oh, sad. Or them. Yeah, so I I'm the one who's constantly trying to run away. <laughs> <laughs> it's true lah. It's true. I mean, yeah. At least I'm honest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, continue. Sorry for the long, long interruption. <laughs> so, so, Sakura sponsorship and baby very far, very different. What's wrong with very, having a baby? Very far from each other. <laughs> you all sound more excited about art supplies than having a second child, the boy. you. Hi, yo. How to compare that? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, Steph, your turn. Very, My very turn. family are friendly at the boy you are. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I think I appreciate the fact that um, Singapore is resuming business as usual. So now, I think it's the best thing that happened. Co- hold year. on. Hold on. <laughs> so, no, so, like she's talking about the best thing and the best thing is Singapore resume business. Okay. So, so, <laughs> Um, companies are now more willing to spend on on uh, team bonding activities and all. So, I'm starting to have uh, um, increase in corporate clients again, which is good because after like what two years of very That's the best video thing that silence. That's sad, eh, that. No, I, I I don't mind it. The other best thing that I thought about was uh, I I went into therapy, so I started therapy. Session. So that's a good thing. Yeah, that is a good thing. How is that a bad thing? I, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's not that it was um, an, an intervention where I like, had like an alcohol issue, then my family decided to send me to rehab. You know, is I decided that I needed <laughs> to. I don't care about that. <laughs> ah, you drink, I drink. Drink <laughs> 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 it, was, it was that I, you know, <laughs> thought to myself, you are horrible. <laughs> but like, I'm trying to be serious here. <laughs> it was that I decided that I owed it to myself and the people who love me to learn better habits and to to um, learn to cope with my, my previous childhood trauma in better ways, right? Because if you learn better coping mechanisms and then you talk about your past trauma, you get it out of your system and then you will feel overall feel uh, emotionally better and then that would alter the way that you interact with people, that would alter the way that um, you feel and then the way that you get along with in your life. So that will have a positive, general positive impact on your life. So that's a good thing, I think, for myself. But but I guess you need to be ready to face those things. Yes. Uh. Some yes, some people are not ready, you know. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I even is a good tool, la, But you need to be mm. ready. Yeah. You need to be ready. I, I even I even spoke to my therapist about like, um, at one point in time, I started to talk about things that uh were not as important as my childhood trauma. Like I could deal with the problems that to- that I was talking to him about. Then I think I said like I don't know why I was um talking about these things that actually I can deal with, these problems that I actually can deal with. Then he's like, why Why do you think that that's the case? And I said, I think it's because I know that I'm in therapy for very big issues that I experienced in my past. And because they are uncomfortable feelings, therefore I'm like filling out time with um, smaller problems to talk about. Then I won't need to face the bigger issues, you know? So it is confrontational. Like you have to, like Debbie says, you have to be ready to mm. confront those large emotions to be able to talk through them. And sometimes that would uh, cause 
previous emotions, negative emotions to flare up again, you know, and sometimes it's very raw. So yeah, you have to like mentally be ready and be willing to talk about these problems. It's not just, okay, let's go to therapy or like someone forcing you to go to therapy. I don't think you'll have as much benefit. And I don't I was think you talking... can force anyone though. Yeah. How do you force I... someone to go to therapy? <laughs> well, I mean, if you're yes, an adult know, and yeah. then you have a teenage child that has issues, maybe you might force them to go to therapy, but then they might yeah, not get as work much work. out. Yeah, yeah, they won't get as much out. Yeah. And then, and then the, the person will not like therapy, which is counter, you know, to mm. what you are doing. Mm. Mm. Also, a lot of people, I think, not a lot of people. Like, I think some people might not stay therapy. Yes, yes. A lot of <laughs> no, no. <laughs> some some people might think like, oh, it's like a, a magical medicine that like you go see a therapist and all your problems are solved. Actually, you know, it's you, you have to like pull a lot of weight. You have to go home and think about the things that you talked about in therapy, and you have to actually like if your therapist equips you with certain uh, coping mechanisms, like certain exercises that you do, you cannot just okay, I know them and then you don't utilize them. Like That will not uh, help you. So you, you have to you get put in there. A lot of, yeah, you get a lot of opportunities to practice, la, right? Mm. Mm. I mean, because if he's going to equip you with a new like process, right? And then you don't practice or you don't get to see it happen or so. Yeah. Right? I mean, you don't experience the healing for that particular yeah. area. La. Yeah. And then um, I asked my therapist, he was like, oh, so the, the reason why like, I had these questions because you're saying you're actually doing quite well. You're actually, you know, thinking about these things and applying what uh, I've taught you in your own life. And I was like, oh, do some people like not think about like the questions that they're going to ask or the problems that they're going to face like before they come to therapy? He's like, yeah, yeah. Lots of people, you know, they just spend the hour in th- therapy session thinking about it. But when they go home, they don't actively think about uh See, yeah, I think a lot of people same. are in therapy for different reasons also. Mm. Mm. So, I think for your case, right, I mean, I say this only because I know you, la, okay? I don't, mm-hmm. I mean, I cannot speak for everyone, everyone but I know yeah, you, so that's not. why I can say this, right? From, 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 from the time I've known you and everything, right, I will say that finally you have found a meaning uh, and a reason to be alive. You know, yes, you have found true. something precious for yourself. And because you have found something precious for yourself, right? You then want to build on it, mm. and you then want to protect it. So because be, because of how we are wired, you and I, our way of protecting it is to be well, you know, and is to be like we don't want to mm. jeopardize or sabotage. You know, we don't want to mm. sell sabotage, right? Mm-mm. So and therefore, your value in the therapy session, right, is because there is a motivation behind it. But there are some people. There are some people who go to therapy out of obligation, you know, like, oh, you mm. know, if I don't, don't go, my wife will leave me. Yeah, yeah, if, I don't, okay. if I don't do this, my child will this. If, you know, if I don't do this, my parents won't uh, give me po- pocket money. And I- I've heard that before. I, I mean, I've, mm. I've heard the fact that some people uh, do force their kid into therapy, right? They, they really do uh, cut their allowance until they do go back to therapy or some, something like that, you know? And, and I'm like, mm. are you sure that is effective or not? I mean, of course, I, I, I am not a parent. I cannot say. And, and of course, every child is also different, right? So I yeah. cannot say that I, I know better than the parent. But I have seen I, I have seen cases, which is very sad. La, because over time, your relationship with the child erodes. It's no longer the same relationship. You know, you're like forcing me to go to do something that I don't want to do. Mm. And then if I don't go and do it, you don't give me allowance. That's, that's, that's very hurtful. La. So are you driving your child away, right? So I yeah. guess if, if 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 a child goes into therapy under duress, right, then then it won't work lah for that mm. child lah. But I can understand. La. Like, yeah, I can understand those that, like let's say your child has like depression, and then oh, like of course, of course. they've I'm attempted you know, before. Yeah, yeah. Correct. So sometimes it's like as a last resort, they have to like not, uh, <laughs> correct, correct. It's it's very hurtful, you know. You build a relationship based on threatening, right? You don't get. You don't get the results you want, uh, and then you don't earn the person's trust, right? So if if let's say the person has been in therapy after a while, then you start to question why am I still sending you to therapy? You are still so horrible. Then mm. that's not fair, also. Mm. So you are setting up the whole situation to fail, lah. Is what I'm trying to say. Mm. Not that yours is going to fail, lah. I'm just saying that there are yeah. people who are being forced into it. Yeah. Okay, I thought enough. Please proceed. <laughs> 
I also think sometimes like um, so I I trauma dumped on him on my therapist on the first session. He said like, oh, you know, you're you're very brave to be able to talk about these things on the first session, and then later on on a subsequent session, I asked him like, do some people just not talk about like what? like the main issue that they come to therapy for. Then he says, yes, because sometimes some people don't feel comfortable talking about these large problems to, but essentially it's a stranger, right? even though they are a healthcare provider, but they are a stranger to you. So sometimes it's just, they talk about other things or they just sit in silence for like two, three, four, multiple sessions. And then finally they like get back to like talking about the, the main problem that's causing them uh, U.S. in life. You know? So it's, I guess so people also, like, have different journeys yeah. through therapy, right? Like, yeah. No, but I guess also it's like, you know, you need yuan mm. uh, yeah, So you need, you need to, to feel comfortable well. enough to share, right? Yes. So some people are just more shy. Or... Poor thing. <laughs> yeah, some people are just more shy, right? Not, not to say that they are introvert or extrovert. It's just that some people are generally can be shy, even if they are extrovert. You know, for the first mm. time. Yeah. So sometimes it's just like building any other relationship, right? The more you get to see the person, the more you trust the person, right? So sometimes maybe on the first session, it's just hard for people to to break the ice. Yeah. yeah. Also to to tie up the the strings of uh, my answer to this question, like the best thing that happened, like Debbie said, sometimes. Like the the answer of like oh th- therapy was the best thing that happened to me this year might seem very strange <laughs> to some people, but like to provide context like when I was younger um I actually didn't think I'd live past twenty five years of age, and it, uh, I'm currently turning twenty seven this year. So it was like at the end of last year I was like oh my gosh I'm already like twenty six already like I've already lived right. past the age where I thought like I would check out of life and like this is like a mm. serious to talk about of course and yeah and, like, and Susan yeah. she's telling you now which is good because you are yeah. a business partner yes yes so I was going <laughs> to say Susan <laughs> you don't know yeah Debbie knows about this Debbie knows about this and I'm sharing with you guys because I'm not at a place where I can uh, frankly talk about these things and uh, they don't affect me as much because number one there's distance and number two I've processed my emotions but I do think that it's an important thing to think about to talk about openly yeah. that you know you might see like, oh, 7 f five is great. These three CDTs hanging out together every week. Like, so much fun. It and was but... heart-stopping. Yeah. Yes. It's heart-stopping <laughs> when you start a business with someone and then she, she tells you she's going to Checking die. Out and things. Then, like, she's going to... Yeah, no. Like, and she's done, she's done to me so many times uh, that now I'm like, ah, okay lah, okay lah, whatever you say lah. <laughs> so, <laughs> my, my point in this is um, my life has gotten better every year. And I'm now at a point in my life where, like Debbie says, there is a reason for me to continue. I feel like um, my life, life will good. keep getting, yeah, my life will keep getting mm. better. And I'm very blessed to be surrounded by very great people. So if you're at a point in your life where like, you feel like there's no point, you know, to everything, you, know, you should keep going. <laughs> the point in life there's no point. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for the, the very bad, <laughs> very bad joke. Didn't intend it that way, but yeah. Very pointed joke. <laughs> very pointed very pointless joke yeah you should you should <laughs> you should keep going you should keep going and there's there, there, there will reach a stage where you find me again yeah, so, so don't give up hope I think do. it's very important who you invite to be on your journey mm. I I shudder to think that if she had someone else uh, who is not so uh I wouldn't say I'm patient, okay? I'm quite, I'm, I'm quite an impatient person sometimes. But uh, if she had, she had, it could have gone wrong in, in many ways. Lah. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. I think, I think, I think, uh, I think what she did and what I did was really uh, a divine appointment. Lah, so to speak. Mm. Because I think if she had entrusted the wrong person, this could have gone a very, very different way. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So, so then okay. you regret or not? Mm? No. <laughs> no. Why you regret? Why regret? This mess. Why you regret? <laughs> Everything's so good. No. It actually is a, it's a good that um, you have a 
Oh, I think that it's a so-called deep experience that help you to think more and mm. to uh, grow, to become a mature person mm. in the early 20s. It, it's very, uh, it's something that very grateful. Because some of the people, maybe they are from mm. until they 30s or 40s, life is still, uh, is very easygoing. It's mm. all very, very good. Then maybe when on their 40s, then they experience something is very challenging. Mm. Then it's quite, is even harder for them to overcome. Mm-hmm. Even though you say that maybe they are really matured, they have the matured thinking, but sometimes if their past experience are all very smooth, very uh, kind things, then suddenly they meet someone which is very challenging, then they most probably they cannot. Yeah. Yeah. But you're okay, what? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> My problem. <laughs> Your problem is Stephanie. Yes. Mm, okay. <laughs> that one I cannot help uh, because I met also. <laughs> no, so now, now you share the problem. Now it's both of your problems. Uh, okay, good. Then I, I lighten the burden. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah. I, I guess I guess really who you invite on your journey is very important. Uh. Yeah. Mm. Who you invite on your journey, you know, is very important also because they can either bring you up or they can take you down very fast. And then, uh, and then, so because uh, in, in the beginning of our journey, so I am very used to a very rigid lifestyle in the sense that I have, uh, I have to work, my right? So I, by the time I met Stephanie, I was already, how old was I? Steph was just 19 when I met her, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I was about 33 yeah. Yeah. So I, I was about 33 when I met her So I have like all these years of work already, you know? And then uh, I have to come right down to her level of uh, Of dealing with things right And then the mm. both of us clash so badly I mean uh, Your until, one was terrible days, <laughs> Yeah until some days uh, We thought we're not going to make it as friends even, you know? Yeah I mean And then, and then all the crying uh, Wow <laughs> <laughs> wow! <Wah. I'm> a... <laughs> wow! Like the start of the you know, you know, okay, the I think I think something she told me was summarized uh for me how it felt like like okay so the first year she told me uh, there was one day I I came into the studio and she was already crying and then she told me okay. I got cry the whole day <laughs> I got cry the whole day I don't remember this though. <laughs> then I'm like, then I remember telling her oh okay lor. <laughs> Cry <laughs> off. <laughs> Nobody cares. And, uh, and, then, and then you'll be surprised. Now she doesn't even remember saying it, you know. Yeah, so man. either she wiped it out of her memory bank yeah. on purpose. It's not <laughs> important. Oh, oh, I made it up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> ah. ah yeah. So 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 that was what we lived through, you know. It's it's really it's really not uh for the faint hearted. Mm. <laughs> the problem the is definitely and then and then you don't know whether to laugh or cry with her. <laughs> I'm crying with her. <laughs> so, so we sit there. Yeah, we sat there. And then we really cried together, you know. <laughs> so, please support our studio. It was a long time coming. Now we can laugh about it. Now we can cry tears of joy. <laughs> and, then, and then I remember there was once I came to the studio. She was messaging me, Debbie, I'm going to pass out. <laughs> I'm going to pass out. Ah, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I, have, I think I'm a, a little bit anemic. Then I eat. Then I lie on the floor. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to pass I out. Know, I'm going to lie down. This kind of thing to herself, right? And then she has to scare me or so, you know. So I'm like on the way to the studio, right? Yeah, I hear her. I'm going to pass out. And then she calls me to tell me she's going to pass out at the studio. I'm like, hey, please pass out outside. And outside. And she find you. But no, she heard it as, go outside and die. <laughs> Nobody loves me. Stuck with me. Die outside. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this was the 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 answers that we have to the best thing that happened to you this year. <laughs> <laughs> the benchmark was very low ready? to begin with. <laughs> Are we ready to go to the next question or not? <laughs> yes. 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 <sighs> Okay, okay, I have a lot of jokes, okay? Now I'm very worried. <laughs> <laughs> you will understand why I'm worried later. <laughs> I'll ask you about uh, the easier question first, uh, so I won't let you choose. Mm, okay? 
So we take a break from the morbid discussion for a while uh, and come back to it later. Okay, what is a skill that everyone should have in your opinion and why? Skill, ah, skill personality. Ah. Eh. Uh, I'm very worried when I ask skill. that question also. Yeah. Skill, skill. What is a skill that everybody should have whether they are artists or non-artists, so, so, so everybody, uh, what is the skill they should have? Verbalizing, verbalizing, knowing how to coherently verbalize your <laughs> feelings and needs. Because I think uh, a lot of my problems come from that. <laughs> then once I learn to do it, so coherently, uh, must coherently verbalize. Cannot just anyhow, like Susan said, I open my brain to let you see what's inside. <laughs> You cannot assume. You cannot. You cannot assume that people know how you feel or know what you need. And a lot of people act that way, especially in like romantic relationships. You think like, oh, my husband should know what I want for my birthday because, you know, he he knows me. So, um, if he loves me, he will know what I want. But that's that's not how humans are like, you know. Or like you assume like, oh, my friend should know that I'm having a bad day so I will be more snappy towards them. But that's not that's, that's not how it is, you know? And it's not a skill I think that is taught well enough. You know? Like maybe in kindergarten you learn about like major emotions, but you don't Use your really words. learn Yeah, you don't really learn like like anger and frustration is different, you know. Um uh, being upset at someone, being disappointed at someone is different, you know? So if you learn the skill a lot of your interpersonal problems will actually be fixed because then you don't speaking you don't assume yes yeah, speaking for experience and you don't <laughs> assume that oh I, I this person should know what I want or this person will know uh, why you know you will verbalize mm-hmm. what you do and then you take away the guesswork because you are telling your friends or your family hey I need this kind of support right now or I don't feel good today so. Uh, can you please give me some space so that I don't snap at you? Mm? I think also during the pandemic, right, a lot of people are very frustrated, you know? Mm. Yeah, and it's because, right, there's no outlet. Mm. Yeah. Stuck at so home. I guess before you before you burst uh, with all the pent up anger and frustration, right, you need to talk to somebody. Mm. Yeah, so that, I wouldn't call it a skill. Uh. I, I, think, I think it's more of like, you know, even you can call it a skill, but then talking is a skill. Uh. Survival skill. Oh, yeah, la, okay, modern modern day skill. skill. Mm. Modern day society. Mm. Yeah. Pandemic era. Mm. We're all stuck with each other, so you better learn to talk. <laughs> talk to you. Okay, who's next? What is a skill? Do you think everybody should know? I'm still thinking it. Okay. Maybe you want to go first? I go first, mm. I go first. Okay, I think, right, uh, for some people, they need to learn the skill to speed up. Then for some people, they l- need to learn the skill to slow down. Mm. Yeah. So you either are A or you're B. So. <laughs> As in, everyone in the world is either A or B. <laughs> and then it can, can be A or B for different things also. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A for something, yes, yes, but you're yes. B. Yeah, so so for me, uh, I, I, there are a lot of things that I need to slow down, you know. Mm. That's why she adopted uh, a snail for new development. To, <laughs> to remind, remind her, her I, every I, day. I, I, I did adopt him and he adopt us. Oh, he own self show up. Yeah, he Hello, I need a house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Susan's very fond of him, right? Because can, can same same. Yeah, yeah, can co mm-hmm. Yeah. So 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 basically, right? Uh, I think slowing down is a skill because, huh, uh, like Stephanie says, right? Things are starting to open up. Uh, around the world. Mm. Right. So in many countries, things are starting to open up, lah. And then as it opens up, opportunities come, and then we get busier. Mm. Um, for us, right? I don't think we ever slow down before, like, in the mm. company sense, lah. Uh, in just well, as a as a company, we, we don't we have not actually taken a break. Uh, even though we went through the pandemic like everyone else. Mm. So in a way, right? Uh, there are some instances where I think, uh, it's needful to remind myself that I need to 
pace myself. Uh. Yeah. And also because uh, I, like I said, I reacted very badly to the vaccines, right? So there are certain things that I cannot do uh, like before. So one of the things is that I, I, cannot, uh, I cannot keep rushing like I used to rush from one place to another place. Uh, it triggers off a lot of things uh, in me. I can actually... I feel as though I'm going to collapse if I do that. Uh, but then also, I also need to exercise. Like, so there are a lot of different things uh, involved, right? But at the same time, right, how do you exercise and keep active and yet still be uh, slowing down? Right, so a lot of things that I need to relearn also, and I think it's a very common thing in Singapore, uh, to not know how to slow down, because we're always rushing, we always have very tight uh deadlines, we always have a lot of uh, things on our plate, you know, but at the end of the day, right, we need to know how to prioritize. Where we cannot uh procrastinate, then we got to prioritize lah, right. So this is something that uh, Stephanie and I are constantly uh, trying to work on. Uh, I, I, I'm not avoiding Susan completely la, because uh, it's just that Steph and I, uh, on a daily basis, we uh, we work yeah. a lot together. Yeah, mm-hmm. As in, our day overlaps most of the time. So I think, I think learning to slow down and learning to speed up is something that everyone should should learn. Hmm. 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 What is hmm. a skill that you think is necessary for everyone to learn? Um, the skill I think of is actually I, I'm still trying to learn this skill yeah. is to um, reflect myself in the daily life uh, this reflection is on like uh, more on the emotion side. Mm. We every human being we need to know that what's my feelings, what my emotion at the moment. Because sometimes when we asking our uh, people, oh, how are you today? Then or maybe something happened, how you feel? Then people answer that I'm very angry. Mm. But then when you asking uh f- yeah. further. Then he, why and who are you angry with? Sometimes he will also have no answer. He can't even answer you that whether he is angry of the other person. But most of the time, that person is actually angry on himself. Mm. Uh, so, but this is the thing that people normally, they won't, um, they won't get it so easily. So only after maybe there's some friends or whoever who, who guide them through the process, then finally they realize that, oh, I am actually, I'm not angry to that person, but I'm angry to myself. And this might link to their maybe past experience, uh, something that is not very good. Uh, so uh, I think to reflect ourselves, to know what I feel, uh, what's my emotion is very important. And the finding the, the adjective to, to describe my emotion is also very something, is also something that need to learn. Because normally what we say is that I'm not happy. I'm happy. Mm. Only two mm. two descriptions. But actually there's more mm. that more uh adjectives that can describe how we feel do you, and do you think yeah. that this is a Asian problem? Uh? Because I think Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think Asians have this problem where it comes to expressing ourselves very well. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I remember that last time I, I uh in the Sunday school, I teach the teenagers. Then I ask them, how you feel? Then most of the time, their answer to me is that, very boring. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> then when I, I ask them, why you feel that? Then they have no other uh, descriptions no answer, right? or elaboration, no answer. Yeah, they really cannot answer because they don't even know how to describe their feeling. So there's a time that my friend shared with me that for the kids, uh, since young, you need to teach them to um, find the, the, the discussions, words to express their feeling. I'm angry, yeah. or I'm uh, happy, or I'm yeah. disappointed, whatever. Yeah. So this become a skill for us today, actually, for kids and adults. Mm. 
I think I think uh, as Asian parents, right? I I don't know about your parents lah, but my parents were never interested in what I think you know, or feel. Do you have? I I think maybe Susan's mom might be very different from my parents, but my parents will never ask me how I'm feeling. I think even until now, eh, my dad's still around, but he also will never ask me how I'm feeling. Yeah. So, uh, gradually, right, the child learns that you cannot talk about this. Do you understand my meaning? So, it's like, mm. if I have any feelings, mm. right, I learn that I shouldn't talk about it. Which is a very bad way of uh, coping because it creates a lot of issues after the child becomes a teenager. And then that is where you try and get a child to talk, but the child already don't want to talk to me by then. Or they negate your feelings, right? You say, oh, I think this is a very yeah. big problem that's stressing me out. Then they're like, ah, it's not that bad. It's not yeah, that big a deal. Yeah. I, I, I remember mm. as a three-year-old, uh, so actually I'm not sure why, uh, but when I was a child, right, my, I still have a lot of my two to three year old child memories, you know. Like I still can remember what I said to my parents, and I can still remember how they responded. You know, I don't know whether mm. it's good or bad, lah, Okay, but oh. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, so many child remembers for a long time, you know. Actually, yeah. So I think from from my era, where people sort of believe that, ah, yeah, children will forget, you know, after a while, mm-hmm. you know, children will get over it for a while. So my parents were from that era that thought in that manner, where children don't know what they're thinking or children don't know what they're saying and children mm. therefore don't need to express their feelings. They will get over it as they grow up. So uh, my parents subscribed to that kind of uh, thinking and it was so damaging for me uh, over the years to undo that thinking, you know, to learn that actually it's okay to talk about our feelings in a, in a constructive manner. Of course, you don't go and kill somebody or you murder somebody, lah, but my point is that, you know, there are, there, are, uh, there are ways to talk about it, right? That's healthy. But because that was never modeled in my life, uh, my parents had, uh, when I was growing up, my parents had a very poor relationship with each other. Um, and it's not entirely somebody's fault or the other person's fault. You know, it's just that they are very different people trying to live mm. together and they found out too late, lah, basically. You know, it's like a mismatch, you know? So it's nobody's fault that they're like that, but because as the child uh, in the family, right, you are absorbing all of these things, you know. And mm. to make it worse, right, uh, the child is told that uh, it's not important, it's not important, you know, nothing lah, you know, or, or you are you are like making it up, you know. I think that is the worst thing to tell a child that you are mm. making it up, because mm. then you are saying that the child is lying, or what are you saying about the child, right? And then uh, after a while, you start to wonder why your child don't tell you things. But mm. it's because you accuse him of making it up. Uh. So next time, I know you tell you already. You're not important really. Mm. I will develop my own coping mechanism, whether it's healthy or not. And that is when the trouble usually starts. That's how I, I, I noticed. Uh. Because over the mm. years, uh, I've actually worked with a lot of uh, humanitarian organizations, um, welfare organizations that I've partnered with or I've worked with or I've volunteered with or I counsel people. You know, a lot of the problems start when the child doesn't trust the parent anymore. Once the child doesn't see or feel safe with uh, sharing the opinions with the parents, that is when the child chooses bad company, chooses drugs, chooses whatever. Yeah. So this is something that uh, worthwhile considering, uh, I guess. Yeah. Mm. You're, you're also teaching the child to not trust how they feel, which is setting them up for um, basically to become an easier victim of uh, abuse in their, later on in their lives. Because, like, for example, we talk about gut feel, right? Or oh, I, I have this mm. gut feel that this person is a little off. You, you actually taught your child when they were younger to not trust their feelings. So when they have that weird feeling in their like, stomach or in their heart or whatever, they will then ignore, ignore that feeling. Because obviously, how I'm feeling is not to be trusted. Not important. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like mm. you need to teach your child self-respect. Yeah. So that there is, I think Steph and I, we talked about this before. Probably at one of the sessions when Susan wasn't with us, uh, we talked about how, you know, it's like our, our mindset about ourselves 
also affects how people treat us and how, how we accept people, you know? So if your mindset is defeated, you are less likely to be accepting of relationships that are not healthy mm. for you. Yeah. I don't know why we are going through this now. Maybe somebody needs to hear it. Lah. <laughs> Very <Actually>. heavy topic. <laughs> but so. you know, you know it's, it's also good to hear that like, even though we've been through these things in life, we know of a better way now. Mm-hmm. And then the, uh, future generations will, will be equipped with things that we never knew in our childhood. You yeah. know? Like, yeah. I remember talking to my therapist about, like, emotions and how when I was younger, I didn't have, like, language for my emotions. And now it's a lot better. And then he said, you know, you you have to you talk about, like, negative emotions, but you have to understand that you have enough space for positive emotions as well. And I remember that week, um, my daughter, I came home one day, then she, she asked me, like, oh, uh, would you be working from home tomorrow? I said, no, I have to go into the office tomorrow because I have things to do. She started crying because she said she misses me a lot. And I said, can't understand. So you have a lot of feelings. That's why you're crying, right? And she said, yeah, I have sad feelings and angry feelings and happy feelings. Angry and I was feelings. like, <laughs> yeah. And, and I sat there thinking to myself, she's barely yeah, four years old. Yeah, yeah, and she is able to vocalize these things like she understands that not only she does she have negative emotions she also has positive emotions and here I am at like I'm turning 27 only now am I like understanding this you know with a therapist but she is being equipped with these things at such a young age you know like that's great you know? do you remember do you remember how we were googling the other day like the five A's right yeah yeah <laughs> it's like the five A's for fire O's <laughs> <laughs> yes and then, <laughs> and then Steph was like excuse me <laughs> So the the article was about like how to deal with like negative emotions in a in a in a healthy manner, right? And then the articles were like directed towards like small children. Here I am like doing seven years old. <laughs> Needing to learn these things. I'm like Okay. Better, yeah, better late than never. Good good for me. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's, it's good it's... for me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. I am the casualty most of the time. <laughs> Poor thing. Yeah. So you know, it's it's good that our children, you know, and maybe your nieces, nephews, you know, whoever it is that you have in your life, you know better, so you're able to teach them better, and then we we that's how we break the cycle of that trauma and not knowing how to deal with life properly. Okay. Is that all we have for this topic? This question? I don't know. Is Susan done? Susan is like ready to check done. out. Susan <laughs> is maybe no. done with a towel also. <laughs> Not quite. Yeah, I am Not done. Hmm? Right. We, have, we have a question in chat. Someone is asking like, uh, Debbie, what, what are you using on your black towel? Is it intense? Uh, yeah, yeah. Intense and uh, white jelly roll. And then I'm activating it with water. But uh, I I think I'm going in too wet on some areas, so I have to tidy up later. Okay. Is it clear on screen? Or is it yes. Okay. I can see it on screen properly. Quite clear. Your, your lines are quite sharp. It doesn't feel that way here, though. <laughs> Would you all like to talk about your towels? I think you should talk about your step. Okay. So I started with a Ramblin Rose Pink Magicals um, background, right? On this like round how. And then I used the uh, 2C curve. So I used one of Susan's suggestion of having that like rainbow. Uh, but I didn't do two, I only did one. Like Debbie had the, the idea one so I did that and then I chose to extend it out of um, the colored area and then I added uh, Pika at the back and then I slowly blew off from there it's a little different from my like usual style but I, I quite like it and then I thought like oh let's use some glitter pens to embellish the tile so I settled on a uh, purple and a golden yellow kind of color just to accent the tile 
Yeah, and then I did shading. I wanted to do like uh, shade in colored pencils, but then Debbie had gifted me this pit graphite matte Faber Castell pencil. So this is 14B. They have a whole range of uh, tones. So this is one of the darker ones. I've never seen a 14B pencil before, so I thought like, let's try it out and see how it looks. It's quite nice. It's actually very and small bag. Yeah, and it's great because it's not like graphite, regular graphite where uh, when you lay it down very heavily, it becomes very shiny. This one, like the name implies, is actually quite matte. So that's that's nice where you don't get that shine when you shade in really dark. Yeah. Who wants to go next? Um, okay, I'll go well, next. Yeah, let, 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 okay, let, 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 yeah, she always huh? does this to me, you know. She will volunteer, and then when I okay, you do. Then she let me give it back. Oh, I I thought <laughs> she trying to be polite. Quite tired. Yeah, <laughs> 要礼让精神。嗯嗯。哎，难道我没有吗？有有。That's why you let me go first. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I draw a、uh, tree Parker. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. Okay, two and a half. Yeah. How to pronounce the name? Ah, two and a half. Peka, 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 Peka. I have no know. idea. Nobody tells us how to pronounce. You, you should, you should ask her. <laughs> okay, so um, I draw the paradox as a background. Then, uh, the background here, I use the color pencil. Yeah, the Sakura color pencil to to blend it. Hmm, I quite like this one. Then I added the gold gel pen on it. To embellish it, this is my tile. I only managed to finish one tile, so the other one I'll just keep it back. Then you going for to next time? It? Oh no! I thought you were going to make two、oh, that connect. I think maybe.、Other. I think it's good if I connect. Maybe you yeah, keep maybe it for next week. Yeah. Then like you make it. Yeah, good、it. idea. So next week, so next week the string will be two C again. Yo, <laughs> anyhow, <laughs> anyhow, <laughs> anyhow. <laughs> Oh, what semi circle? Just kidding. Semi circle. <laughs> semi circle. Yeah, you know, you know, she's so cheeky. She said that she'll come out with the string, right? Then, ah,、uh, we believe her. Then now she's gonna reuse the string, eh? Ayo,、oh, my goodness. <laughs> And just kidding, ah.、Uh, hmm. So lazy to think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bee. Yeah, yeah. You know, ever since, ever since she started doing her thesis, ah.、Uh, She has been coming at all these things. Quite scared, scared, scared. Ah, la la. Ah, yo, scared, scared. 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 Scared, <laughs> share the burden, share the nuts. <laughs> share the nuts. I cannot finish by myself. <laughs> Is it walnut? Peanuts. 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 No. I think walnuts is good. Walnuts is good for brain.、Mm, yes. Then maybe can do <laughs> better. Yo, you talking about brain today? Okay. Everyone has brain, wah, and we need it every day. <laughs> Why do you hope so? Sometimes don't feel like it. Yeah. Everyone have, but not everyone use it. Yeah, it's true. Who ah? Who ah? Sometimes I also don't use my brain. No posting. Me. Just let it relax, ah. Ah, Debbie, your turn. Is it is it an instance of reusing the string? That's why don't need to use your brain. Ah, quite fun. I also need my brain to draw it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now your turn. Your <laughs> turn. Okay, so I actually have two towels. Uh, so this is my black towel, which I am trying to neaten up because it's very messy. And then I have a white version. Uh, which I haven't finished also actually. So, uh, I was thinking of um doing them like that. Uh, but actually, I think it's the idea of cutting. You know. So then, after I change my mind, cause I don't want to cut lah. My hand is not very good at cutting these days, especially such a small、mm. bitty area. So I decided, no lah, I won't cut. I won't. I won't try and tempt 
fed by later I cut myself, you know. Yeah. So 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 with this nail nerve pain uh issue that I have, right? I've actually cut myself a few times and not know known that I cut myself, you know. Um because how my nerve pain uh comes out sometimes is uh from numb numbness. So it feels like there's a numbness to it. Uh and and sometimes because it's a numb feeling, right? I don't actually have the sensation like I used to have in my fingers or my hand. So in a way, um, this nerve pain is kind of dangerous because I could really get into some trouble and not even realize, you know? Yeah. So I was telling Steph, uh, Steph was with me one day when I was carrying something and I didn't even realize it was slipping out of my hand. Do you remember Steph? We were at the supermarket. Mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, so she saw that Whoa. actually I was holding something and it was slipping off my hand and I didn't even know. Yeah, and it actually fell off my, my hand things. eventually and mm. I didn't even realize that it was slipping off because I don't have the sensation like before. Yeah, so it's kind of dangerous. Like, it depends. If I'm holding a knife, if I'm holding something breakable, right, I have to pay extra uh, attention um, because I cannot mm. feel it uh, so easily like before. Yeah, um, yeah. So that is the, sometimes when I'm drawing, my hand also goes numb. And then that's when I know I have to stop. Mm. Well, it doesn't stop me from drawing. So I still proceed as per normal. Yeah. Okay, shall I go on to the next question? We still have two more, actually. Mm. This one is, um, maybe I should go on with the funny one first. Lah. Okay. And then the mm. serious one can be the last one and then it closed. Right? Mm. Okay, so the funny one, okay, so this one is meant to be funny, okay? It's not meant to, uh, it's not meant to suggest anything, okay? It's just meant for fun, ah. Mm. Okay? So, don't, okay. uh, don't Very scary, yeah, got, 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 what? <laughs> yeah, got disclaimer. Well, yeah, disclaimer. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't write us emails to complain. Okay. <laughs> Who would you trust in this team? And, and we're all having fun, right? So this is our team question, okay? So I purposely reworded this question so that people don't uh, think that we're talking about them or other people, okay? So Stephanie and Susan, who in this team would you trust to plan your wedding and why? Okay, uh, so the, the easier one is first. Then the part two of the question also. I think it should be Debbie because uh, she's she's known me the longest. Right? So so your team only got one person? Maybe so maybe I'll trust it? Susan, then she she'll she she'll, she'll have very good bread catering and everything. Mm. It's a wedding, eh? not a bakery, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I want mine to be special. So great for the guests. Yes. You're all ducks, <laughs> quick quick. <laughs> Yo. I oh, don't want to be the wedding. I don't want to be a dad. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me laugh. I'm trying to draw straight. Man. I finally make you laugh, Lobo. <laughs> okay. Susan, you let... Just now, Debbie mentioned this is the... the, the funny. Is it funny, what he plays? is a funny question. Fun one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, let's step up. What? Then what we'll be a... Then we'll be... Then we'll be... Then we'll be... We'll be a lot of surprise, right? Yo. Then, mm, shock or surprise, different thing. Then, every, then everyone, then everyone will remember this wedding. Mm, that's true. So, nice. That's true. Mm. The secret to weddings is have good food. Nobody will remember anything else. Everybody will remember the food. If you serve good food. Then your wedding eh, had what food? My wedding, we had a small tea um, event after. It was a very small celebration. And then we just invited everyone to a nice restaurant. Then we had tea there with uh, alcohol. And then everyone went home. Tea with alcohol? Yeah, yeah. Just there was champagne. Was... It's like afternoon alcohol, you know? <laughs> day drinking. Alcohol. Is that what they call it? Day drinking. <laughs> I, I think we cannot have Steph plan your wedding to the, all the guests will be drunk. Yes. Oh no, that's not a good thing. Some people don't react well to alcohol. Debbie, you like? Okay, for, for me, right, I, I don't want anybody to plan my wedding. Yo, why? Then, then if I have to marry again, I don't think I'll marry again. 
So it's either this one or no, no more. What kind of yeah. rubbish cop out answer is this? Yeah, <laughs> you cheat us for our answer. <laughs> <sighs> okay, but... cheat our feelings. <laughs> cheat our feelings, eh? Okay, so just now we talk about wedding, right? Mm. Who in this team? Remember, it's funny. Okay, it's funny. I'm not suggesting anything. Will you plan your divorce? Funny. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Who will you trust to plan your funeral in this team? Oh, in funeral. this team, you answer first. Debbie, answer first. Yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Susan Smart. <laughs> I, I agree with you. I don't think I trust Stephanie to plan my funeral. She mm. will just go there and cry. cry and cry and cry. And yeah, cry I agree. And cry that nothing will get done. Yeah. I agree, I agree. Be, cannot, be, cannot be Stephanie and cannot be Daniel. I think Daniel will also be in a mess. Crying. So the only person who Oof. doesn't love me so much but loves Yo. me is Susan. <laughs> so pretty! <laughs> <laughs> you don't love me so you can Mm. But she still can operate. The other two will cry, can't operate. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. That's why I say mm. it's a funny one. Please don't write to us. Thank you. We are fine. <laughs> and nobody is checking out mm. anybody. It's just a funny S- one. S- Susan, you le? Who do you think? Mm, Stephanie again. What? To make it fun. <laughs> I have balloons. I have a clown there. I Why have free drinks. Cry how? I would cry. <laughs> then, then other people yeah. won't cry. What? They, they, those people no. will try to comfort her. No, no, but so that... no. but but um, you know, at some funerals they're professional mourners. So you hire people. I think nowadays, nowadays shouldn't have you right. I think old time. Uh, old time there is because I think for some Chinese culture. They will Indian also, think that they need Indian, is it? Mm. Oh, okay. This one, I'm not sure. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Okay, we're not so, 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 if you die, don't contact our team. Our team don't know how to handle. Maybe, maybe, yeah, don't. maybe you can hire me as a professional mourner. Cannot. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> hey, let's say if it's become a job, job then very tiring. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Cannot. Don't take don't yeah. take this job. Maybe it pays well, eh? Maybe, yeah, maybe. Who knows? Okay. But it will bring down your energy, what? I mean yeah, after yeah. cry. Cry. Keep cry, cry. crying. Hey, maybe, okay. hey, but, then, but then Steph, right? For Steph, right? She doesn't Monthly get high cry. one, eh? She can cry the whole day one. <laughs> so bad. She can the whole day one. I'll have you know that I haven't said, cried in a while. No, she herself started by telling me. I go to cry the whole day. <laughs> okay, okay. Sounds like, like small child. I go to cry the whole day. Okay. Sounds like small child. <laughs> I go cry the whole day. I mean, you, you just watch. To cry the whole day. Then sure, I don't by all means. Right. Yeah, yeah. I don't cry the whole day. Go lor. But, but interesting enough, you know, like, I don't know how either of you would want to like deal with like funeral things, you know. Like usually there's a plan of action, right? Like, Maybe after That's this, why this team is just thing. a joke. Ayo, it's just a funny Next question. team meeting, we need to discuss this. <laughs> oh, no, I I <laughs> <laughs> for me, oh my gosh. For me, I will choose Daniel because I think, I think he's huh? more, <laughs> he's more removed from you know like I'm your friend. Then he is your husband. And then after we started a partnership, then that's why he, he got into this partnership, right? So it means if I don't know Debbie... Also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I don't know Debbie, then I wouldn't con. know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both kind of con. See, I'm such a good con woman. Con money lifestyle. <laughs> I should start a new Tinky Fix series. How to con people into loving you. And then they're stuck with you forever. <laughs> 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 So I think <laughs> I think Daniel would probably do a good job at planning my funeral because then he'd be like, oh. But you say he's very he's he's you say he's very removed, right? He could be so removed that he don't want to do that. Like, how? I I don't I think he's a good person. No no no! I think he's a good person. He wouldn't just leave it like that. You see, I see. You know, some people their moral values is a bit off, but I don't think oh, my Daniel moral is a no very. Good, la. I never say your moral value is no good. I say you love me too much. Whoa. I thought to love you already. Throw away. Throw away. You don't let me plan your funeral. How dare you? <laughs> no, the problem is that I don't want to plan my funeral. 
problem is that I want you to plan also cannot because you'll be so busy crying. Okay. <laughs> no, but you know some people like when like they have like loved one pass on, then like they need to get the funeral done. Then they will like sort of switch off. So they're very numb then just do all the things. I really after... don't think you can switch off that. Uh, fair enough. But I'm just saying. Yeah. You no, know, there is a possibility. I mean, from the staff I know, right, I don't think the staff I know can switch off. So is that your last two questions? Or no, 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 there's one more. Okay, I'll so, like... so, so Susan, <laughs> wait, wait. So, so Susan, you finished yours already, right? Your funeral, you yeah. say already. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, Susan's yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, she did. Yes, Steph. Ah. This is me. So Steph has to plan all our funerals. Ah. Yo. Oh, I'm so tired. You didn't sing the one? Huh? Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> okay, last question. Okay, this one, this one requires a bit of thinking. Ah. That's why I put it to the last. Okay, no. Because I also need to think about it. Okay, no. do you have a unique problem? Problem. At least you are yourself. Are, do you have a unique problem that your family members or your loved ones don't have? So, so basically, right? Do you have any issue that you have but your family members and your loved ones don't have, or they never had the experience? And how would you change? Like, how would you? How how do you uh know that it's a problem? And then how do you think you can change it? Can I see that I am the problem? It's <laughs> a joke. It's a joke, right? You now. are the problem, but then you are the problem to us, leh. <laughs> but how? So the question is: Do you have a unique problem that your family members don't have, or a habit, <laughs> or something you know that only is unique to you? Ah, uh, it di- didn't get passed to your family members. Only you have only. Mm-hmm, it can be love. Oh, this question very difficult, leh. We play it. Well, if I put it in front, then your two will not answer also. Uh, same one. Mm. Next, week, next week, I do the question. <laughs> <laughs> huh, Susan? Huh? Huh? I'm thinking. <laughs> what is it? Very now? busy. <laughs> Very busy thinking. Yeah, open my mind and try to think. <laughs> okay, you slowly think. Okay, so I think I have a problem because, right, my, I I think I think my family members right um are not as are not as open minded as I am. So mm-hmm. I actually when I was a small child, I already feel this way. Then I feel like right, uh, although they are good people and they are upright people, you know, they 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 do their job. They some of them go to church. Some of them uh support. Um, organizations and things like. so they they are still good people they are not cooks like what I mean is yeah so my point is that uh I feel that a lot of them right although they are good people and everything right so sometimes I feel that they are not open minded enough for example right if something happens right they only see uh from a certain perspective and it's very very hard to change their perspective on things. And then, right, I consider it a problem uh, for me because I have it. I have this thing where I see until very far in the distance. And I think it drives Stephanie and Susan crazy sometimes. Haha, <laughs> moment of truth. Right. So, so, in a way, right, I think it is a problem because, right, a lot of people don't understand what I'm trying to say or what I'm trying to do. Until they see it happen, or until they, until it happens in front of them, or or I can make it happen for them to see it, lah. Because a lot of people, when I explain certain concepts, right, or if I feel that you know there's a perspective that I want to share with them, right, a lot of times my family members and my loved ones cannot understand me. A lot, a lot of times, like nine out of ten, or they don't get it. Then for me, right, I. I've always felt like inside the family, I'm the weird one, you know? Yeah. So I've always felt that I'm weird and I don't belong, even in my own family. Yeah. Because of this, uh, I would say that it's the mindset. Like. My mindset is different from everyone else. So therefore, I have difficulty belonging. Yeah. 
Then, uh, as for how I would change it, uh, is that over the years, right, some things I don't bother to share already, <laughs> which is not a very good thing. Because uh. <laughs> I minimize, right? Yeah. Everybody's still thinking. Eh? Susan, you were there. Mm. I'm still thinking. Eh? I don't have the answer. Okay. Okay, very, very good. No problems. I think sure have just that. <laughs> okay, mm. definitely. Mm. I, I think I know what is the problem, but I don't know what it's called. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, what is the problem? I, I think like the best way to describe it is, f- but I also think it's like sounds weird financial insecurity. Huh? Are you I talking get... about mentality or lack? Ah, uh, something like that. Mm, 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 I think mm. yeah, I think that would probably be the best fit. So, my mother in law, my mother in law always like um, did her best for my my husband's family. So he had never had to feel like oh, there's not enough money in the house, you know. Whereas I grew up in a single parent household, I was very aware that money was tight. And it uh, made me very insecure about money. So now as an adult, I have this uh, men- mentality that oh, I cannot spend the money. Otherwise, what if you don't have money for something else that's going to happen? You know, you always have this fear, this idea of fear like, oh, I cannot like um, spend any money. I must hoard all my money. Which in and of itself, like saving money is not a bad thing. But when I first got married to the family, it was really bad to the point where like, I would tell my husband, like, oh, I want to buy this dress. Then he's like, buy lah. Then I'm like, but I cannot justify spending this money. Then he's like, why? Then he's like, do you, do you need clothes? Then I'm like, yeah, I do need, need the clothes. Then he's like, and it will make you happy? Then I said, yeah, it will make me happy. It's a nice, nice dress. Then he's like, then, then go ahead and buy it. Then I'm like, oh, but what if I don't have money at the end of the month? Then he's like, why would you think that we're like, we are stable, we are fine? Why is it that you think that you won't have, you know. So I had to sit down myself and like think about where this idea came from. And well, then... but to give you credit, right? During that time when it happened, and I remember very clearly, uh, because I know uh, I was there. In the sense yeah. that I was there in Historical your life. Event. During that time. Not, 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 not that. Not that I was there physically when you had that conversation, but I was yeah. present in your life already at that point. At that point, I can see why you said that because he didn't have a job. Mm. Yeah. I think at the point, he wasn't like, the point financially he did. stable yet. I think at the point he did already. No, the time he was like in between internships or something like that. He was like over not, not like now. La, not like now. Yeah, now it's like stable, stable. Yeah. But That's you see the, the difference in mentality is like for him, he believes like there's a safety net that he has which is his mom, you know? that has always been there, provide him support when he needs it. But then for me, it's like, I cannot burden my mom even more. That's therefore, I must hoard all my money like a dragon in case anything were to happen. Then I am self-sufficient. So you have to unlearn that kind of mentality of lack. Like, oh, I cannot spend a single cent because what if something happens? You know, It's not a very healthy mindset to have. Yeah. But then again, the flip side is you cannot spend all so what? Uh. Yeah, of course not. Uh, yeah, Please don't take it as advice to <laughs> spend all of your money. <laughs> it's not what I mean. <laughs> Drain your entire bank account. That's not what I mean. I mean like this. There's, there's a balance to be to be had now. Okay. Susan. How will you think there's enough time it? for you? Susan say how you're changing. Oh yeah, how do I change it? Um Number one is um, have multiple streams of income. That's, I think, one, one, one important thing. And then number two is build your savings. And then number three is understand that um, how it was in the past is not the same as how it is now. Therefore, you don't have to live with that kind of the same fear that you used to live with. Especially, I think it's a very different dynamic because last time when I was a child, as a child, you cannot go out and work, you know, so you have that, that feeling of 
helplessness. But then now that I'm an adult, you know, I, I know that even if worst case scenario, I could still find job to earn money. So I, I am okay. And also it's very different because at the point of time, my mom was by herself. So she had no one to turn to if she needed help. You know, and me as a child, like, I cannot ask my friends and all. But now it's very different because I have people around me that love and Now support. you can ask your friends, is it? No la. Tomorrow, next week, y'all will see I'm <laughs> having Instagram live by myself because it's where Debbie don't be my friend anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not why. I mean. It's more of you feel stable because you have people that are there around you that love you. So I think you know that. I think so. Just now, just now when you mentioned that, how to fix it is that you know you you said you was you was spend my is it? Spend my yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you need to learn how to plan your savings first, right? Before you can spend mm. my fully, right? Mm. You can't, I see, you can't spend my fully if you don't have mm. a backup plan for yourself. Yeah, no, I mean, you, you, you need to, you need to make some plans la, and some decision making la, on your side, right? Mm. Yeah, so some decision making is necessary, la. Yeah. Susan, this is enough time thinking. What do you have? So bad. I still cannot identify yeah. that. Oh. <laughs> My yeah, brain since cannot week. function now. <laughs> yeah, next week. Then, okay. then Steph, you talk about how first. Oh, I did a, a bijou. Then I thought since oh. my first towel was a colored towel, maybe I'll do a black and white one. So I like have, I brought the um, set of grey jelly rolls back to the studio. Uh, with my glitter pants. So I thought like, oh, it'd be nice if I like use them in the towel. So I added, um, what is this called? <laughs> I cannot remember what is this name. What is this called? This is Zentangle, official Tango. I know there's another Tango that looks similar. It's called Bitten, but this is not Bitten. Swarm, there we go, Swarm. Oh my goodness, that took a while. Swarm in the background in light green. Uh, the background colored in black per my paint, and then I have uh, some embellishments to my pay car in dark grey. So it's a very cute little uh, bijou tile, and then I'll probably shade it in black and white as well. Yeah. Who's next? Debbie, you want to go next? I thought she's answering the question. No, uh, oh. Well, she, she's scared I to see it. The kind of... Double, I, I don't know how to show. Like that? Can see? Yeah, Can so see, I yes. have like my double towel. Mm-hmm. So I double. have just added some stippling. Uh, so I added stippling here in white. And then for this one, I'll add in black. Uh, I'm just trying to do mirror images. Yeah, hmm. like, well, probably. No, I won't quite mirror images lah because it's like the same side, right? Mirror images is like opposite side. Hmm. Yeah. So those are my tiles. Uh, quite, kind, quite, kind of, not what I expected, but good lah. I guess, unplanned, right? I like the white one. The petals seems like the transparent petal. Hmm. Oh, it's cool. I I think I think my white one right. I kind of didn't plan the colors, so I yeah. regret putting in a yellow gem. Can you see a yellow wow, gem over it? Yeah, maybe I'll adjust it. Like a green gem, something. A lot of green. Really I thought like I shared my. You thought huh? I shared your one? No, I I thought I just now I shared my towel. Yeah, yeah. Then, then you never what have you added since? So then we try to buy time for you all. But I cannot think. Oh, I need to okay, think quietly. Then I then can then I can identify. Terrible. Mm, yeah. <laughs> mm. I need to concentrate and listen to your. I li- need to listen to your sharing so I cannot multitask. <laughs> Very good excuse, oh. But I really cannot think of you know. Okay. She got no problem. <laughs> Yeah, I think I have call. just that I can just that I cannot identify now. 
Okay, you will go and find sing, find sing. Then next week we will mm, come yeah, back to sing. you. Yeah, find sing. Wow, got homework one ah? I don't want it. Let it me one me liao eh. You you don't need homework because then which means I get then I can skip I can skip this question. No, what kind of nonsense? No ah, then yo, this is one ah so horrible eh. Okay. Next week I will come back. Tune 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 in next week to find out Susan's answer to the question. <laughs> that's that's how we open the session. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, How we open the session? <laughs> so, if you like to follow like us, <laughs> yo, <laughs> if you like to follow us on Instagram, you can um, find a recording of this session. Head seven four five results, and also on YouTube. Our YouTube channel is YouTube dot com slash c slash seven f five four studio. You can find Debbie at, on Instagram at tangled.pursuits. Susan is susanyo.cvt and I am at headpan underscore will draw. We also encourage you to join our Facebook group, 7F5R Challenge. You can go to this link or search for 7F5R Challenge directly in your Facebook uh, search bar. Yeah. And uh, as a recap, this week we did a string made out of two C's. Susan gave us a few examples of what kind of string you could use. And then uh, we also use the Tangle Pay Card by Asuka Odagami, who is a CZP. Please post your artwork online, tag us uh, on Instagram and also in the Facebook group if you like to share your artwork with everyone. We would love to see what you've created. We hope to see you again next week, Wednesday, 2.45 p.m. Singapore time. Otherwise, you can catch uh, the recording of the session. Thank you so much for joining us. Baby Susan, any closing words? Thanks. Thanks for watching us. I hope you found us entertaining enough. Yeah, oh. Especially the funny questions that we ask <laughs> and answer. You know, so you can... Dear, dear Team 7F5, I'm concerned about the question. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we are going for therapy. Yes. Yes, don't worry about that. All right, we'll see you soon, mm. next week, hopefully. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.